I became a painter and decorator because I've tried other trades and other career paths and this seems to be the one that I've settled in quite well. Um, I was looking for a, a path into um, painting and decorating as a career and the only way I could do that was via an apprenticeship. So I just went on Google, looked for an apprenticeship and Coast and Country came up. And as part of that, the course of the college. Well, I've always had a passion for painting. I'd do watercolours and oil painting myself. And I'd go up to the hills and with me eyes and things like that. But this is just as challenging. Same thing, really. It's all to do with, like, you know, your brush strokes and things like that, really. Um, you can't be too rough, either way. Unless you're working outdoors, really. Through the week, I could be doing anything between uh, wallpaper in a, a house and artexing ceilings to paint and um, guttering and things like that. At college we learn how to do it, but at work we learn how to do it at speed so we can keep up with the other trades and things like that so we don't get left behind with things. My college tutor asked me to take part in the skill build because somebody else backed out. My wallpapering skills I had to build upon quite quickly and stenciling as well. Not stenciling as we know it, like plastic stencils, but it was like a plastic sheet you had to cut out and then and then paint over that and it's quite difficult. So I was purely shocked when I when I won the category. And um, they read th uh, third place out and I just thought, oh it's not me. So I like kinda sank in my seat but when they said I'd I'd won the category, I came first. I was really surprised. It's helping me to advance quicker and it's helped me to pick up the skills a lot quicker as well. Well, hopefully I'll be going on to my second and third year at the college. And after that, fingers crossed, I'll be employed with Coast and Country.